Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space and this is Vinegaram. In case if you are new to the channel and if you haven't gone through our channel, please uh, have a look at the channel. I'll share the link description into the video. Please have a look at it and in case if you have different opinions and if you want to share something with us, that will be really helpful for us to improve and uh, add a few more uh, new videos in the upcoming conversations. So today in this video, we are going to see how do you filter an Outlook mail message uh, using SQL query. So of course, we have a lot of techniques using uh, UiPath to filter your Outlook mail message. So I'm going to show you one more trick or one more useful uh, technique where you can filter your mail message uh, that will be uh, with UiPath and uh, Outlook uh, mail messages, right? So to, to achieve it, so you have options in your Outlook um, itself, right? So uh, you don't need to learn some SQL or you don't need to know some background about your SQL in uh, in the past as well, right? So you can simply achieve some basic SQL queries. I'm not saying SQL queries are schema. I'm not saying everything can be done at uh, uh, Outlook or Microsoft uh, SQL uh, view itself, but you can do some sort of a basic things which uh, you can derive from the Outlook uh, mail message, which is already available in uh, uh, Outlook, right? So to achieve it, right, you have to go to, you have to open your Outlook and then go to view, and then followed by change view and uh, navigate to manage views, where you will be able to find the option called modify and then click filter, right? So there you will be able to find multiple tabs, one among that is like message, choice, and at once. So we'll be going with one simple logic where I'm going to search my uh, email or search or filter my email based on the subject line, right? So you can change it, whatever options available, you can still manipulate your query and use it in your UI path to achieve what it is required to do, right? So I'm going to show the exact settings which is available. I hope you can be able to see the screen, right? So for that, once you open your Outlook, it, it might look like that. Then you have to go to view and then change view, manage views. And you have to go to like modify, then followed by filter, right? So you have options here to, to compute or to generate your, uh, your SQL query. So for example, I want to look for an email which does contain subject line that have a word called ICACA. Right, so then I had to go, to, I don't want to do any other settings changes here. And then if I go to the SQL and click edit, I could be able to copy the whole SQL schema that can be updated into UiPath Studio. So it does contain a lot of options as well. Uh, you can explore like multiple options. You can search the words with your mail and messages as well. And in case if you want, you can choose it here and go to SQL query, you can be able to see, right? So there are the, the schema is getting updated, which does contain both uh, SQL uh, query and for mail message and mail body as well. And it does contain a few other options also. You can explore it with more choice. So you can see like if I want to look for an email which does contains only attachment and then click the checkbox here. If you go to SQL, you will be able to see the attachment schema is getting added. So you have options within your Microsoft Outlook itself to manipulate or to check your uh, SQL query, which is at a basic level. I'm not saying like everything is available, but or like for a new or uh, someone who's like wondering how the SQL schema is working for filtering an email and performing some sort of action, you can be able to achieve those things using like manages, modify, and then go to filter. You can type the words keyword here. And once you've done with it, then go to SQL. For example, I'll search it for like UI path. And if I go to SQL, then I'll be able to get the schema. So just click the text box to edit it and then just copy the whole schema and paste it into your UI path, right? So for based on that, I did like one uh, uh, small activity using our UI path. So for that, right, so I just taken out uh, uh, like get mail message activity in that I pasted the SQL. So for example, you cannot directly paste everything. So you'll be able to see all this text, which is available uh, in your SQL outlook itself. So to get the filter condition done, you had to, within a double quotes, you had to mention at SQL equal to, and then paste your SQL um, schema or SQL query, which you got it from our outlook, right? So that's what we've uh, shown it in, in the like presentation as well, right? So you can see the double quote which is at the bigger size, you will be able to see which is getting enclosed and inside that 
will be having like within a double quote you have to paste the entire query and then the like condition which is nothing but searching for a email right so you have to paste it in this fashion keep keep it in mind that you have to close or in all the brackets perfectly only then it will be able to perform so i've highlighted in different colors with the different size as well just have a look at it so this http schema is only available in outlook the rest all just you have to add it in prefixes like at sql.com within a double quotes you have to add the entire condition so if you if you have multiple conditions like and or or conditions need to be computed you can still do it also right so right now i've just taken in consideration for top 30 emails i had to filter it based on uh, subject line which does contain icic as a keyword right so i just want to execute and show it to you for example if i just run it it will be able to get the emails which does contain ui sorry icic as like the word so just that's icic is just a word which i use for you can just do a dynamic also you can uh, do whatever is required for your project. So there is no restriction for that as well. And you can do the same computation with subject line and mail message, whatever is available on that page. So it cannot be everything, but you can still, right? So you can see a transaction alert for ICIC mobile banking, and you do have the ICIC keyboard, which is available in the subject. And I just displayed the body as well, but I don't think that is required. So the relevant email, which does contain the subject line of the R keyword and followed by the sub, like my mail message, which I've used for. So you can see all the uh, subject which is coming up in the screen is having the keyword, uh, which is uh, having ICICA, okay? So that's how you can, you can compute or you can use this uh, mail, uh, mail SQL which is available in your Outlook itself. So in case if you have any questions or any queries, if you want to like uh, execute it and you are not able to figure it out, just comment below. I'll try to solve it as soon as possible. And in, path, in case if you have a different user opinion, just comment, we'll try to address the uh, issues as soon as possible. And thanks for watching. Uh, please do share and subscribe to our videos for uh, more upcoming videos. Just turn on the notifications as well. Thank you and have a nice day.